Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I dyed my hair this really nice ash silvery kind of colour using the Live Intense colour in the shade Metallic Silver which I am loving. So yeah if you want to learn how to create this look then keep on watching. So guys, this is my current situation. I have dyed my hair blonde, I do have a sore throat so bear in mind for that. My hair is kind of orangey yellow, it's not completely platinum white. My hair overall wasn't a straight colour anyway, it was kind of like an ombre grown out kind of balayage effect. So this is the kit I used to get my hair to this colour at the moment, it did really lift my hair up quite a lot. As you can tell from the images, my hair is kind of dark underneath. To be honest, it has lifted that up quite a lot, which is really good, I didn't want to make my hair look too bright and too blonde and damage it too much because I just really want to go for like a silvery ashy tone I'm not too fussed on how bright or how dark the grey actually goes I just want to have grey hair so but in here is actually a really good kit I'm not gonna lie it cost me around five pounds for this in Asda and basically in here you get like a little dish to actually mix the mixture together which I thought was pretty good you also get a highlighting cap I didn't want to use that because I didn't want to go for a highlighted effect I just wanted to get rid of any of those really bright orange dark tones in my hair so I just went for the original application which I used with the brush that it came with. It came with like a lightning cream and then two enhanced lightning powders and you just mix it together and just apply it to your hair and it was really easy and simple. Um, so yeah, overall I would think this is really good, especially for one application. It's lifted up my hair quite a lot. So that is how I dyed my hair blonde. I literally just dyed all the roots. Anything orange toned in my hair, I literally just dyed it over with the L'Oreal highlighting kit. Now onto the actual hair dye itself. I cannot wait for this part. I've been wanting to dye my hair grey or silver now for such a long time. Time, so here we are. So this one here is a live intense colour metallic silver I just decided to go for this one because I've already used the colour freedom ones in the past and it just adds a bit of a green tone to my hair so I thought I'd go for something a little bit more different this time. I never actually knew Live did a permanent one of these until I seen them in Asda. Altogether the kit cost me £15 including the highlighting kit and these two here so hopefully this turns out good and I've saved myself some money here. So first of all I'm going to make the mixture. So inside here you've got the applicator bottle with the developing lotion. Then you've got the colouring cream which you insert into the bottle. And then this is the after treatment which I just love. I absolutely love the after treatments to hair dyes. They just smell amazing and they make your hair feel so nice. And then of course we've got the instructions and the gloves in this little instructions packet here. When I was younger, believe it or not, I used to have my hair platinum blonde like all the time. My hair was so damaged and looking at myself in the mirror I just don't suit it now like whatsoever. Um, so I'm glad I got myself out of that platinum blonde stage because it just didn't really suit me. It wasn't very natural and it damaged my hair so, so much. So I've just popped the gloves on. So all we have to do, which is pretty simple, is take this colouring cream and then apply it into the developing lotion, which is going to take about 30 seconds, not even that. There's quite a lot in here, which is pretty good. So I'm just screwing the lid back onto the developing bottle and then we're just going to give it a little shake. Make sure it's all nicely blended. So now all we need to do is divide our hair into a few sections. I'm going to start off first of all with the front section of my hair on top because it is the most orange out of all of my hair at the moment and I just want to make sure that I get a really good even coverage especially on the top of my hair because you're going to see that most. So I've got my section and comb here and I've got some little clips and grips and stuff here just to section it off and just help divide it and make it more even. So I'm just going to take the top section of my hair like that and I'm just going to apply this directly onto my roots. And I'm going to take the other side of my python in and just do the same thing. And then I'm just going to work through the rest of my hair doing the exact same thing, the same technique, all over. side to it all is now complete. I've just clipped it up for now because I've got to go off and spend 30 minutes whilst it sort of sets in place and does its thing. So yeah this is what it currently looks like. I kind of look a complete state at the moment but do you know what I don't even care um, because I know it's going to look well I'm going to guess it's going to look okay afterwards. Like I said I'm not too fussed. Hair is hair and to be honest with you if I feel comfortable enough to leave the house with my hair in the way it turns out then I'm happy um, because obviously I am doing it at home and there's nothing really professional about doing your hair at home. As you can tell my hair is a complete state, I've got dye all over myself and if you see my floor there's literally clips 
gloves everywhere. I did have to use two bottles on my hair. I have about half of a bottle left out of the two. So one and a half bottles if you've got hair sort of this length is probably suitable. I'm going to predict that there are going to be some patchy bits in my hair because it wasn't even to start with. There are going to be some green bits, some purple bits, some grey bits. Um, that's going to be my guesses. So I'm going to head off now for 30 minutes, wash, style and dry and everything and then I'm going to come back to you guys once it's all complete. So I'll see you very soon. Hi guys, so I'm now back after dyeing my hair, washing it out and drying it. It is sort of 80% dry, I didn't want to dry it fully all over because I have already dyed it twice today and I just didn't want to damage it too much so it is a little bit damp. However, as you can tell on the bottom it has gone a little bit blue and then on the top half of my hair it's still kind of like a blondy orangey shade. It shows up a lot worse on camera, in person it's not actually so bad but in the light you can definitely see it hasn't really taken to the top half of my hair as much but you know what, I'm generally happy with it, especially the bottom half, it just looks really really nice. I'm loving that it's kind of like a metallic denim kind of colour. I don't know how that happened but it happened and yeah I just really like it, I like the bottom half. If my hair all over went in this colour I'd be super super happy and impressed so I'm not going to expect like a, an excellent result because obviously my hair was uneven so I'm just gonna have to deal with this I am just generally happy with the bottom half though I absolutely love it and it's just totally different it's got a little bit of blue in there some purples so that's it for me today I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me dye my hair and if you have any questions about this product then let me know in the comments section down below don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe to my channel by hitting that big red button down below and I'll see you again in another video bye